Okay, so let's continue. We already know how to apply forces, right? How it can affect our position, velocity, acceleration. So our force affect acceleration, acceleration affect velocity, and velocity affect position. And again, this is straightforward example where we're talking about position, but forces can be different temperature right so I need to apply some forces to send to change temperature acceleration is what kind of forces I apply to change temperature velocity is gonna be how fast temperature change so for example I have bottle of water and I want a cold bottle of water I put in the fridge and fridge will apply forces to cool it down this is will affect the acceleration how fast it cooled down at some point of time right so it will affect velocity and at the, at the end it will affect the tem final temperature i want so i can calculate also how long can need to cool it down so now we need to think how we can apply these forces so for this we will just create a simple function Void apply force and force as you already understand it's p vector force so we just call it p vector force right and pretty much all what we need to do here I just need to write this acceleration at force that all right again we do not using now mass because we think that mass is equals one for now so acceleration equals force so to the acceleration I just add force and now in this my program I can write for example okay I want to apply what kind of force I want to apply you know wind for example I can write p vector wind equals new p vector let's say 1 and 0.5 so this wind will blow from the left to right and a little bit up right and now I can just use this this apply force wind that's all when I start my program we see okay I is plus 5 I need minus 5 so now you see but they getting like at the end very fast right because when I apply constant force my acceleration my speed gonna be very very fast at the end you can see you can check it print ln this velocity if I start it you will see how my my speed getting like very very fast and crazy right so for this we have a good practice we can define the limit I can write something in speed limit equals let's say 5 so and this here before I will after I will change my velocity I just need to check my speed to do it for limit how I'm gonna to do it that what we did before right (coughs) 
first of all I need I have my vector speed so limit of the speed will affect just the power so I need to check if the length of my vector more than 5 it will be applied it will be equals to 5 how we can do it with vectors how to get the speed of the vector for this we have function I can check if I can check if this velocity magnitude more than speed limit what I, I gonna do I gonna do this velocity normal a norm it give me okay let's check processing side uh, all functions have set random copy mag give me magnitude of the vector multiply divide dist calculate distance close normalize ah okay oh I, ha I can use just function limit in my case right I can just check this limit 5 so it will okay this is good for us so in this case all I need to do is so all I need to do here, I need this velocity limit and I forget what it was, speed limit is the name. Let's do something like this. So now for example if I will start it I will see they're not gonna go faster already than they than five pixels per speed of, of course why do we need to do this in real world we have a lot of different force that applied to us to movement body and in real life we not really have too much the constant force to apply to us so but in our virtual world it's very i mean we do not have so much variation here so we need virtually limit abilities because in real life okay you cannot go faster than some speed right because you just does not have the force that can do this in our case here we do not have these limits so we need to apply these limits by ourselves <clears throat> what we can do here we can let's do just like random some yeah uh, random 2d you remember we use this so now you see this is real each frame it will apply a random wind to our objects not bad so it's more kind of like wind effect yeah we can apply the I don't know what kind of force we also have we can apply the gravity force I can write p vector gravity equals new 
p vector and in normal life the gravity is 0 0.9.8 right and now I can do this it's apply force gravity and now they falling down okay but again we have virtual real environment let's make slow it down and let's see again they still going down because and this is constant force but okay, let's make it seven like much smaller so it starts slow and after it's going faster and faster yeah so with gravity it's gonna be go down and down at the end it should at least okay this is too small okay here is more yeah we have sometimes wind it push up but the gravity wind at the end so that's what we can tell all about applying multiple force so you see now when I have this function it's pretty easy to do I just like apply forces to it okay we can go to nature of code and you can see yeah how we applying this force and how it's work so we have weight and mass it's pretty much the same we're not gonna go deeper about it you see here here in this book it's for p5.js so example is gonna be in p5.js but as you see here syntaxis is pretty similar right so acceleration equals force in our case here apply wind apply guide try to update display add acceleration add force apply force add force so this is pretty much the same what we're doing in mouse pressed okay here just like if I press mouth I apply some wind right Okay, we go next okay next part we need to talk we talk about mass so now let's add some mass to our object I can hit float mass and here when we decide this mass by default gonna be one we cannot have zero mass first of all because nothing have zero mass the second because we need divide by mass if it's zero we will have an error in our program right so and here for example I will create another object uh, it's float mass and here I will do check for this okay let's do without check first this mass equals mass and when I apply force this force first of all I need to divide by mass before I apply it right that what we have here acceleration it's force divided by mass let's run this program okay it's work object it's identified ah, because I have the second parameter now now we don't have let's I do the same like one and two and now you will for example and let's do not use gravity for now let's start ah. let's let's create because we have just two objects for now I will do something like this object 0 1 and object 1 will have mass 5 and to see it when we draw we can write okay this mass multiply by 10 let's say this mass multiplied by 10 I start it and we see like okay yeah we have two obj objects and you can see now for example that the small object will affected by our wind 
by our forces much faster yeah okay let's again do here a not random just set up to 300 300 so let's start from them in the middle of the screen save start and you see the big object move much slower because it have bigger mass and we need to apply much more force to make it move and it's also much harder to make change in direction when it's like small object it's very easy now to change direction because you don't need, you don't need to apply much more forces to move it in opposite direction right and what gonna happen if I will set up zero mass for the object I have an 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 okay I have some error here because okay this is deal already I think this is function already deal be if I will try to divide vector by zero but to be sure that we do not have any mistake and errors in our code I can write if mass equals zero this mass let's set up to one by default if mass not equals zero we set up this mass to our mass okay now even if I set up zero this still have one and you can try out like different masses okay let's we have this object 5 and this object mass 20 so the big object it's almost does not move because we need to okay now move constant force here and we need to apply a lot of forces to make it move so that's how we dealing with the mass here Next one, we will talk about gravity and the mass.